Okay, so something I decided to do, and I think this is something I'm going to be doing going forward as well, is I want to go and learn various bosses in RuneScape 3, because I've been playing this game since 2022, and it's been two years at this point as me recording, and I haven't really dipped my toes too much into PVM, and while I am an Iron Man, I do still want to kind of get more into PVM in general, as I'm still working on my maxing goals, so... I think a good strategy for me is going to be where I just make videos every once in a while of basically force myself to learn a boss. And that's kind of my goal with this first video. I think we're going to start with something a little bit easier. I'm told that Osseus, or however you pronounce it, is one of the easier bosses to do. It's actually like an intro necromancy learning boss. So I figure this is good for me. Um, so it's I feel like it's a good starting point, And then we can go from there in the future. But for now, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I did the quest, and I know nothing about the boss. So, going in completely blind here for the very first time. So, let's just... And let's get right into the news. Let's fight this boss. Again, I have no idea what he does. I have no idea what attacks he does. Nothing. I'm just going to be honest. Um, Necromancy. So, we're going to do... That... That a tail that's okay mm -hmm. interesting very interesting okay let's give this another go um i think what i needed to do there was like use resonance or something so yeah that's what i'm thinking so if i see that i will use resonance and we'll be gucci so if i see him charging his tail little tail boy Supposedly, these guys are, like, super easy. Oh, they heal him. Oh, okay. I need to kill him before they heal him. Okay, I'm starting to get this. Starting to, I think. Not too bad. I think once I get better used to the timing of is tail attack i will be good because the tail attack is what's getting me boom this i'm pretty sure he's gonna die auto from the yeah boom first kill used a lot of resources so i would not say that's learnt but i kind of get the basics of it uh is there a rare item here okay i thought there was a rare item Okay, so the boss is extremely easy, but because of that, I really don't feel like that was a justified learnt, even though that was my first kill. I get the gist of what I'm supposed to do there. The boss is extremely simple and straightforward, but like I said before, I don't think it's a fair to say that's learnt. I want to have a proper understanding of the boss for the most part, so or a proper execution of the boss. So let me go do probably a handful more kills and stuff like that, and I will go from there. Or did I? I did not. Okay, that was still too early. I need to time that thing. Because that's really what's going to get me the most, honestly. Is that. <laughs> I should also probably get Threads of Fate. Even though I don't really use it. I'll be honest. But, uh. Are they all dead now? They are. I'm taking a lot of damage here, and a lot of it is just me being bad. See, that's what I mean. Like, it's... I think it would be a lot easier if I'm on manual. Because if I'm on auto, I just soak the damage, basically. I don't think any of them should be alive after that. That's, so, I don't really need to do that. Um, I forget what's... Or, I was going to say... Uh, Reds of Fate, because I can just use the full Scythe cycle, and I think I'll be good. The last little bit of HP here. Boom. Easy boss, honestly. Really easy. I put this here because I thought it would be more difficult, but, um, yeah. It is a, a joke, to say the least, is the best way to put it. Looking at this guy's loot table, he actually has some nice things. He can drop... Um, a fair bit of coins, which is nice. The Arbox seeds aren't bad. Ancient scales are pretty 
I believe those are good, and Serenic skills. I believe the Ancient skills are used for... Yeah, those are used for the Dracolith. So that's kind of cool that he can drop that. He has other kind of crappy things. Uh, territory drops. He has the Calcified Heart, which uh, can be used to unlock the pet. You get the Jail Key, which can unlock one of the other pets. You can get the Occultist's Ring, which I believe is like the Necromancy Ring. Uh, you know, the... Oops. The Necromancy-esque ring. Ant. I want to try to learn the timing for that tail thing. Even though I don't really need to, I want to. Boom, baby! Got it. Alright, wow. That was way easier than I thought it would be. I'll be completely honest. Alright. That's really easy to get out of. I definitely think I'm over-leveled for this. I'll be honest. I do feel like I'm over-leveled. I feel, like I, I feel like this is like a 80 necromancy-esque boss, I'll be completely honest. Boom. Yeah, I got it now. Okay. Anthony got it. It's it's easy mode now. And you're dead, kid. Ate like no food during that. The 50 damage. Oh. All right, this feels like a very uneventful first video. I wanted to make something cool where it's like, hey guys, I'm gonna be learning a boss for the first time, etc., etc. And it just, it feels very uneventful because the boss isn't difficult. But at the same time, I'm not very good. So I guess we'll go for two more kills so we can get a solid five kills. And then, but this boss is, I, like, I, I respect bosses like these. Like genuinely, I really like bosses like this where they're just, they're easy. They're like just meant to be a nice, easy boss. I like this. Oops. Oh well. E boom, boom. That's what I mean. Like I'm completely messing up and I'm destroying the boss still. Oh, my prayer was off. <laughs> Whoop thief. Oh well. Dead boss anyways. Oops, didn't mean to lock. They're not called french fries, they're called freedom fries. Get it right, okay? I wonder if people actually are. I'm gonna look this up, freedom fries. I, I always hear that joke, but I don't know if that was an actual thing. <laughs> that was apparently a thing 20 years ago. And 2003? Oh my god. I feel, I feel old. I'm like 2003. That's not 20. That, that I was like about to say 2003. That's not 20 years ago. And I'm like, oh my god, that was 23. That was 20 years ago. I don't know. I'm. I know nothing about that time. I was. A, I was a youngling. I was a young little lad then. My understanding of the situation is completely non-existent. I just know people called them freedom fries, and I thought it was funny my entire take on the situation <laughs> i died oh i'm, al I'm alive <laughs> I, was, I was scratching myself when i saw the tail thing i'm like well i'm dead <laughs> there we go five kills that last kill was very scuffed but we got kill no less yay five kills oh my god it's such a difficult boss to learn not gonna lie, really difficult. Well, thanks for watching as I learned Osseus, Osseus, whatever his name is. It was a lot easier than I thought. My overall take on the boss is that it was very enjoyable. It was a very easy to get into boss and I'm definitely gonna continue doing more kills of it and I might make more videos of me getting kills with it, but I legitimately thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult to learn, but upon doing it, my take on it is it feels like a very good kind of I want to learn necromancy boss, right? It, it seems almost like a, I would say it's a step up from Herod or whatever his name is, where like you go and you do Herod for like literally just learning how to use necromancy abilities in a fight to then doing uh, Osseus who will then you get basically get to use it in a situation where you can actually take damage and you kind of understand the, the, uh, kind of i guess the correlation of your abilities and how they work and stuff like that a little bit more properly uh in this boss so i really did like this 
uh, this boss fight. It was actually really enjoyable. And I'm actually kind of glad I did it first, to be honest, because it was not that difficult of a fight, which was nice for me learning. I'll be completely honest. 